Hello and welcome to Head and Shoulders ATR, where we cover athletes, performances, and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. And today we're talking about Sharika Jackson. She just set uh, a meet record. So, hey, it's, it's early in the season, and so far she's been improving with her 400s earlier in the season. She uh, went from a 634 in the 60, 623, and then got down to a 6.18. So she's improving every uh, single time that she's showing up in there. Obviously, that was the heat that she ran that 623. And then she ran in the finals over there at the um, at the uh, World Indoor uh, Tour and over there in uh, Birmingham. So <clears throat> going to a 400, she opened up season opener back in January, 53.11, then 52.05. Now she's gotten down to a 50.92. And it actually looked like she was a little bit holding back to me because the way that now I didn't see her um I didn't see the first race I didn't see how that went but as far as this race right here she took out very controlled and it was clear what the mission was she's uh from from the way I look at it, it was clear what the mission was coming to that home straight away then pick it up she pretty much seemed like she was holding back as uh uh as she had athletes on the inside now I'm forgetting who it was I don't want to pause the video right now to go uh, check, but uh, she had athletes on the inside of her that she was really holding back against, Stacey Ann Williams. Then we had uh, Russell that was also in the field, and so uh, Stacey Ann Williams was actually pushing it. Sharika Jackson came out controlled, accelerated just a little bit as she uh, felt the pressure of Stacey Ann Williams, and then once she came in that home straightaway, that's when she then turned it on another one, and then she got that 10,000 extra. So since this is a World uh, Continental Tour Gold event, now I'm not sure how much uh, Jamaica is paying uh, with this one, but I think it's somewhere, it's got to be no less than, what, six? Six thousand, maybe four thousand for the win. Uh, but somebody correct me if I'm wrong on those. I'll have to go look that up. But she also got a ten thousand dollar credit, not a sponsorship, uh, a credit for that. Uh, as the announcers actually pointed that one out, so that's pretty cool. But what do you all think about this? Because I think that it's. Pr I think we should see Sharika Jackson. In all honesty, if she gets like she said, whatever her coach tells her to do, she's gonna do it. So if she needs to run the 400 and then compete to go into the final of the 400, she's ready. If she goes in the 100, the 200, she's ready for anything that a coach says. Like I said, she's a workhorse of Jamaica, and she can go from any event from, from the 100, clearly the 60 meter, all the way up to the 400 meters. And in all honesty, once she's more so, I would say, through with the 200 I like to see her in the 400 to see how fast she can go in that. Uh, obviously, she appears to be a much better uh, one and 200 meter athlete. That's pretty clear by her record count uh, with or medal count with both of those, and especially with the win in the 200. But she's also pretty much there in the 400 because she's got medals in the 400. So she's medal in all of these things. What do you all think about that? seeing her back in the 400 and actually competing at the the world championships uh and maybe even the olympics obviously the highlight event will be the 100 and as long as she's winning in that i don't see any real reason uh to switch from the one and the two unless she goes to the 400 with the express purpose of however that is building her speed endurance to in, even improve her 200 but i'll get on that in the next video catch you all in the next one peace